Hello, hello guys. Once again, welcome to Farming in Africa and this new series that we've started taking you through our life as a poultry farmer, showing you all the analysis, all the costs, all the mistakes, every step from the first time of even thinking about going into poultry farming till disposing your birds after two years. And that's why we've put this whole thing into one series um, to share with you guys. Um, I think we are calling it the Poultry University so that everybody who wants to go into poultry farming in Africa can have some information or an idea of what they are getting themselves into before they do that. And that's why we are putting this series together. And today we are talking about series number five and we're gonna walk you guys through how exactly we built our chicken pen, which is 50 by 50 feet. Last week, we talked about the cost involved in building the pen. Today, we wanna to show you an illustration of how the pen was actually built. But before we go into that, I wanna say a big thank you to all of you that have been supporting us on this channel um, and also actually joining our um, business channel as well called Young African Hustlers. If you haven't checked that out, go to the description there is a link there or search on youtube young african hustlers and you will find us there where i'm talking more about business because i believe farmers need to do farming as business as well and we need to change our perception and sort of how we approach building wealth and doing business in africa so if that's something you're interested you can go there and and, and subscribe as well and learn something one or two from us and with everybody that we bring on that show as well Today we are talking about how do you build a standard chicken pen. I've said it in my previous video about the standard pen, which is either 40 by 50 or 50 by 50. What I mean is that you, it's a square, right? So you have um, four sided and 50 feet this way, 50 feet this way, 50 feet out there. Or the, most people also do 40 and 50. And that's up to you. So what I mean by that, and let me take you guys for a quick tour around here, because today, as you guys can see, we've already built about, this is about 5,000 capacity pen that we've actually built. And we built another 5,000 here, but this one is not fully completed, which means that it gives us an opportunity for me to actually take you guys around and show you exactly what I mean or I'm talking about. So when I say 50 by 50, I'm talking about, so from your left hand side here, all the way till the end could be 50 feet, right? And once you hit the end from your left again, all the way to the right hand side could also be either 50 or 40, depending on what model you wanna go. The reason why we go by this way is that we just wanna keep a thousand bird. This is the standard that you wanna have for a thousand bird. So what do you do? I think the first thing is you take your measurement. So as you can see, our land ends at where the, 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 the bush is, right? So we had about 20, 30 feet in between where the land ends and where we started building. So the first thing to do is, which is gonna be the work of your mason, is to take the measurement of your 40 by 50. Once that is done, basically what he has to do is to start digging what we call the foundations. So it's, there's nothing different here from doing this and building a real house. So basically they start building the foundation, which is digging. So they dig your 40 by 50, pour your concrete, and once they leave it to dry, depending on where you are, maybe two, three days is dried, and then they start laying the blocks. I mostly go with three coats, three levels of blocks. So as you guys can see, I have one, two, three, and that's the length that I go with, right? So you do that, and don't forget, they will also leave spaces in between for the pillars. If you are using only wood, pillars there is no need to leave this space because what is going to happen is let me show you guys you're going to put this two by four wood on it and then be able to put the pillar here just as you can see on it which is going to go up and support exactly the roof right but the reason why i left this hole is because i'm going to put metal pillars in there so if you look at all my pen, you see that there is a metal pillar in there, also going all the way up to support the roof as well. 
plus the wood as well, right? So this is a way, I've said this over and over. I use this because someday I will want to renovate. Not me, maybe my next generation. And they will want to change, you know, this wood because as you can see, it's already getting old, right? It's being chopped by termite and all that. So you might want to change this. If you want to change this, if you take this off and you don't have the metal, what is going to happen is your roof is going to fall. But at this moment, because this is also holding the roof, I'll be able to take this off and the roof will still stand and then replace this. That is just going to keep my pen much, much longer. And that's why I do this. If you don't have the budget for it, that's okay. Go ahead. Don't leave these spaces in between. Go ahead and lay your blocks. Your blocks might differ depending on the level of your pen right so sometimes you might need four five blocks sometimes you might just need three just like me my line is very level and therefore the blocks i use three blocks and i get the same level throughout so once you lay your blocks the next thing for you to do is actually to do filling so what you want to do is you you want to fill the 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 the, the space where you have your um the inside of your pen right because you're going to cast that you can do that and cast or you can move straight away into building the roof so if you want to build a roof we use i think i use one one type of of, of wood which is the two by four right so you, if you look at the cost analysis you see how much i spent and the number of two by fours that i use the link is right here up here you can click on it and see it um, but we basically use two by four we first of all lay it on the block to just give it grounding for the pillars to go up right so we lay it and then we we use it again in assembling um, the roof as well right so all this is two by four so if you see the number of two by fours that we bought you know where they went to it's very very detailed and um, you use that for the roof you're also going to need a lot of pillars so we used about one two three four five so we have five pillars and we have two two set of that i think there will be another set in front as well what these pillars are going to do is when you bring in your thousand birds right of course you're not going to open them up to this whole space what you're going to do is divide this pen maybe into even four and by so doing you will need these pillars as support to whether you're using a black polythene bag or you're using wood you will use these pillars to basically divide your your pen once you divide them because you know when they come actually very new and they are young like they old chicks you want to keep the heat and control it so using this pillar you'll be able to block the side you know be able to also block the side and then have just this quarter and be able to have the birds here right and as they grow and they get bigger basically what you do is then you expand it gradually so they finally can occupy the entire space maybe when they are maybe four weeks six weeks um, into into their lifespan so in terms of the root one key thing to look at is how we built the roots which is basically you know leaving that space in between to allow air to circulate right so the best way to do it um, is to leave that and you talk to your carpenter show this video to him and i'm sure he will be able to help you out and really show you how it is done so it's very important that they overlap so that rain also doesn't get through i've been to some farms that they try to do this but the overlapping wasn't deep enough and therefore what happens is that when it rains it's still entered and that was a very very bad idea so you definitely want to make sure that um, that is done maybe we move um, to to a well-developed pen so that we can also show you in terms of the net that we use and how we also built the you know the entrance of it one of the important thing you need to look at is also piping right so you're going to always try and clean your clean your your pen so you need to make sure that you're also giving that drainage and sloping it when they do the casting so that when you wash it those water will come up so as you can see we always have pillars and then we have a metal inside to be able to help you out 
and then the net this is the type of net that i use i'm not sure what you can find um, in your area but definitely these are very small holes and it prevents you know other you know animals from entering of course you can get rid of lizards there are always lizards um, around entering in and out but at least you know we have never had a snake in our pen if you're doing two then you also need to look at the interval so we also give about 30 feet interval between this pen and um, that pen as well none of these pens are being used but most importantly you also want to extend the outside um, roof because you want to make sure that when it rains it doesn't really enter so this is about four feet from the main pen so you want to make sure that you have about four feet sticking out i know it's cost but it's better to do the right thing than you know to have challenges once your beds are already in so we leave about four feet interval and then the entrance always very important you want to make sure that you create um, a dip here so that you can always disinfect your feet before you go basically that's what you do and then if you're building multiple pen you can also you know separate it by the net i made a video where i talk about the end so at the end of the pen basically what you want to do is either use wood or use block come let me show you this so in this case we use block at this side because we are not thinking about extending this pen on the other hand where we think we can expand it further we actually use wooden structure um, but come and let me show you so yeah so this side as you can see we use blocks that means that we are not going to extend this um, side of the pen again it's done and we did it once and for all right and that's that's how um we built it i don't know if there's anything that i haven't covered but basically the casting is it's normal casting you just have to slope it to the one side and then make hole and put pipes in it so that when you actually are cleaning you'll be able to get rid of the of the water i think that is that is all about building and how we actually built it if i'm missing anything or i didn't see anything write in the comment below and i can go back and um, explain things further to you guys you guys have the cost now you have a step by step on how we built it and we'll be coming again with an episode six and giving you more information we are now building the pen now we're going to talk about you know where to source your bed how we sourced our bed and then go to when you bring them in what you have to do every step throughout the way um, till you actually start laying and start disposing your bed i hope this is helpful thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in episode number six Thank you.